Hello, everyone. My name is Guo Hua. This work was done in collaboration with Zhou Xuan. Here is an outline of this talk. Firstly, I will present the motivation behind this work. Subsequently, I will discuss the framework's design, the basis of our specification-driven development toolkit, and the workflow to use it. Furthermore, I will introduce how to apply the framework mapping design to implementation. We use TLA Plus to model IO Automator and verify its correctness. Lastly, I will give a case study about developing the rough consensus protocol. To start, let me talk about the motivation for this work. The development of this review system poses significant challenges. Particularly in ensuring correctness with the inherent non determinism associated with such as concurrency and node failure. The design, development, and testing debug process are often laborious and complex. TLA Plus offers a formidable tool for molding such systems. It is primarily applicationized the design phase, ensures the system correctness and remains hard if the implementation strays from the initial design. How can we bridge the divide between the design and implementation? What we think is that by ensuring that the implementation is a process refinement of the design. Think of the design as a low-resolution animation containing only the key frames. The implementation, on the other hand, is a high-definition animation that not only preserves the key frames, but adds more details. This approach ensures a seamless transition from concept to reality, maintaining the integrity of the original design while adding the necessary details for the implementation. Our basic idea. First, we get the system implementation closely with the specification. Next, we employ a model checker to dive into the valid states of the design. Finally, we generate a test case site from the model to verify the implementation. The step online in the test case so as the key frames and we utilize testing to check it. There are several related works in the field of model-driven testing, include Domini, Extreme on MongoDB, and Mockit. Our work goes beyond more than testing and focuses more on the entire engineering life cycle and keeps the consistency between design and implementation. The architecture of our toolkit includes several tools and libraries that form its foundation. TraceGen, a command line tool that is used to generate traces and test cases. The trace serves as a, the basis of our testing framework. The deterministic player, another component who can execute determinate testing get it by the test cases. Ensure controlled test. Assert is a library responsible for serialization and deserialization. S9 is a library dedicated to build network channels between testing nodes by leveraging our assert and S9 library. We standardize the communication interface between testing nodes and between testing node and the player. The approach ensures transparency and seamless integration of testing. The workflow. First, we use our automata to specify the system and identify its input, output, or internal actions. We use TLA Plus to specify the automata. Second, Verify correctness 
and quiz the model's valid state space. Third, create a set of test case from the model's state space. Fourth, develop a program code based on the specification and map macro in the program, which is mapping the system states to the action of the automator. The later talk will dive into the concept of macro anchor and demonstrate how they aid in finding inconsistency state between the system and the automator. Currently, we only support Rust programs, but introducing an additional adaptive layer could potentially expand our support to other languages. Fifth, deterministic testing should be conducted, and inconsistency between the design and the implementation should be identified. The workflow operates as a continuous and iterative process. We repeatedly undertaking this procedure until the certification is thoroughly verified and all the test cases derived from the model are successfully passed. They ensure that the system meets the design behavior and perform as expected. We use input-output automator abstraction to formalize the system. The detailed automator concept could be found in the distributed algorithm book. The IO automator A comprises four components. Firstly, an action signature S characterizes the IO automator through three distinct sets of actions input, output, and internal. Secondly, a state set is defined with a special designated initial set. Thirdly, the state transition relation on the state side. Finally, a task partition represents a group of action sequences forming individual tasks. These components formalize the behavior of structure of the I.O. automator. We then define a trace of automata. A trace is a finite sequence of continuous states and the state transition. The trace side would build the final test case input. We use IO automata. The developer must identify the system events that should be defined as action in each IO automata. Include their respective action types, input, output or internal. Not all system events need to be modeled. For example, sequential code operating in the same thread with a 12 and does not need to be modeled. In contrast, non-deterministic behavior is hard to test and need to be modeled as actions. This non-deterministic action includes node failure, concurrency, and asynchronous message that can be lost, reordering, or be duplicated. Then we use automator to generate the trace site. We utilize TLA plus to specify the automator and introduce an action variable to capture the states and action signature of automator. The signature in campus of various action types along with their associated payloads. Furthermore, we enrich the input classification with setup, check, and message subtypes. The setup subtypes maintains the model's state of the step. And the setup action allow testing to start from a valid system intermediate state. The check subtype holds the expected state for the current state of the model. 
which is used to find a non-equal state between spec and implementation. The message subtype represents the communication message sent between tasks. Tasks can be partitioned based on threads, processes, or server nodes. We run TLC model checker to verify the correctness. The quirk property can include both safety and liveness. We must ensure the model is bonded to generate a finite trace set. To avoid state exploring and control the model size effectively, we employ technicals such as symmetry and view to include some non-essential variables and states. Well, these techniques can be intricate in generating continuous traces. We assign a unique UUID to each action and record both action's UUID and the UUID of its preceding state. This ensures that only continuous traces are retained for testing purpose. Furthermore, we adopt a stage approach which we will discuss in our rough cases. Another strategy to keep the model size manageable is by setting boundaries for each operator. To achieve this, we introduce auxiliary variables that restrict the number of each large operators, thus preventing the creation of large state space. How do we generate the trace? Initially, we attempt to utilize the dumped dot file. However, this quickly encoders some limitations. This approach is not efficient for large models as it involves significant I.O. serialized, deserialized, and passing calls. To address these issues, we develop a save value TLC operator. This operator saves action variables to SQLite database for future usage. In each valid next step of action, we employ the save value operator to store action steps in SQLite file. By adopting this method, we achieve batched I.O. operation, reducing the amount of serialization and deserialization passing calls. This significantly improves the efficiency of our trace generation process. The algorithm for generating traces proceeds as follows. Initially, the direct graph is read and constructed with each vertex representing a valid state of automata and the age reflecting state transition. Subsequently, the algorithm search and cover all the vertices. It identifies all strongly connected component with the graph and replaces its SCC with a new vertex, thereby creating a new graph without SCCs. Next, a deep first search is conducted on this modified graph and the valid trace side is collected. Finally, the SCC vertex replaces it with a Hamiltonian path to construct the final traces. This process ensures that all relevant states are according for, leading to the generation of all possible traces. We implement a system as a refinement of the specification. The system has certain limitations when conducting deterministic testing using the model. You need to element non-deterministic behaviors such as loss or duplicate of messages or the execution of random generator. All such non-deterministic behavior can be regarded as input actions and simulated as incoming message from network channel. 
to accomplish deterministic testing, we have insert macro into the source code at the appropriate anchor position. This anchor macro establish a mapping between the program behaviors and the state of the automaton, creating a controllable testing environment. As previously mentioned, we utilize the action variable to maintain automated action signature with TLA plus. In the system implementation, action anchor macros establishing mapping between the system state and the action variables. This macro effect only during deterministic testing. It will remain empty when the system is released for production use. Here is an example of an action anchor macro demonstrating how action variables are mapped to Rust code. Consider Rust water request message as a case in this point. The action prime keeps the message as the action step of the trace, and the circulate database so as a repository for storing this value for future reference by test case. During deterministic testing, the prior reorder it as order of the trace, and the node and the testing would receive this input message. To conduct deterministic testing, it is necessary for the system and the test to override the network channel and communicate with the deterministic player server. Our S9 and S3 library provide direct support for these functionalities. Testing that is controlled by deterministic player. In a scenario where the player reads a valid trace indicating that the action A1 should occur after A2, but not N1 attempts to initial action A1 first. It must wait until node N2 has executed action A2. The deterministic player ensures this order enforces that A2 proceeds A1 regardless of which node attempt to invoke its action first. To facilitate this, the action anchor macro, which is inserted into the system, is responsible for invoking the necessary remote procedure call to maintain the desired action order. If any inconsistency arises between the trace and the testing node action, it signifies a mismatch between the intended design and the actual implementation. The tool detects such inconsistencies through the following events. Firstly, if the player fails to receive an expected action at a given step, indicating that the action message, which should be present in the trace step from the testing system, is absent. Secondly, if the player encoded and recognized actions during a step, this occurs when the player receives an action message from the testing system, but it is not any of the actions specified in the trace steps. Thirdly, if there is an inconsistent state value, this arises when the testing system receives a check input action message but the current state does not equal to the expected state based on the test. Even E1 and E2 would result in a message timeout. E3 requires the developer utilize a assert statement to report the error. E1 is as loss of a key frame. An example of E1 when the player fails to receive an action at a given step, imagine a scenario where the player does not receive the request for action A2. In such a case, 
The subsequent action A1 cannot proceed as it depends on the condition of A2. Consequently, the player will time out while waiting for the action from node N2. E2 is like an error keyframe with the object in an error location. The highest point does not appear in the corresponding position in the picture. An example of E2. The player in quoting an unrecognized action during a step. Consider a scenario where the action A1 is not present in the trace. After node N1 send a request for action A1, expected to receive a notification. However, if N1 fails to receive this notification, it will encounter a timeout. This signifies an inconsistency between the expected action in the trace and the actual action being performed by the system. E3 is like an error keyframe with the wrong object in the picture. We expected it to be a basketball rather than a football. Example of E3. Suppose a situation where after node N1 executes action A1, its state does not align with the corresponding state in the trace. When the testing node checks the received states, it detects a mismatch and reports a non equal assert error. This requires manual coding within the testing system to ensure accurate state validation and error reporting. The following content is a case study. We employ our tool in development of rough consensus algorithm guided by TLA specification. We implemented the rough consensus protocol, which includes leader election, log replication, log compaction, and node reconfiguration, which is currently under development. We specify rough at two distinct levels the abstract level and the concrete level. At the abstract level, we adopt an atomic communication style. On the other hand, the concrete level utilizing asynchronous communication through send receive operations. The state defined at the abstract level serves as the basis for generating initial state of the concrete level. We also adopt a staged approach by dividing rough implementation into two distinct stages, vote and replicate. This stage model is constructed by combining the initial state from the abstract model with either vote or replicate components of a concrete model. Additionally, we continue to generate a valid initial state using the concrete model and iterative this step with new initial states. We employ a setup consists of three nodes and two values. Following a series of optimization, the model checker successfully generated over 40 million distinct states, leading to the production of more than 8 million test cases. All these test cases was passed, revealing bugs in both the design and the implementation. We employ our tool and the specifications are openly accessible on GitHub. Our TLA Plus verified rough implementation will also be made available as open source after we complete the reconfiguration protocol and conduct further testing to ensure its robustness. 
Thank you for listening. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Please feel free to email me.